Hey, so hey guys, welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Thorsland versus Luna fight. If you're on your round here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like video if you do need like video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Thorsland is 19 0 with 8 KOs, and Luna is 25 3 and 1 with 4 KOs. This fight is for the WBC and WBO World Bantamweight titles. Thorsland's last fight was a win via TKO in round 8 versus Lopez. And Luna's last fight was a win via unanimous decision versus Tab Border. Thorsland is five foot four, and Luna is five foot. This is in Thorsland's home country of Denmark. This is Thorsland's ninth world title fight to Luna's sixth. This being her sixth. Luna's losses have come against Guzman in 2018, Gonzalez in 2014, and Figueroa in 2012. She's now on a nine-fight winning streak, and let's just speak about all of what I've just said. So, of course, this is for the two belts. It's nice to see two champions facing each other and two titles being on the line, and they're both coming off pretty decent victories. I mean, Luna's had her own issues with not being able to get the best of victories in the past not going to go too much into what happened with all of that but she's that's all i'll say that's yeah and it's nice to see that she got quite a convincing victory in her last time out and i mean forzand was a good stoppage as well a impressive victory against a top level operator really and it was nice to see and of course there is that height deficit difference and it's going to be interesting to see if that plays any bit of a factor, to be completely fair. I suppose Luna is normally the longer, the bigger fighter, and so I don't really think it's going to play much of a big factor. To be honest, I probably won't even be that noticeable, but I thought I'd mention it either way. Of course, this is in Forsen's home country of Denmark, so she's going to have all the support with her. As per usual, she's used to fighting with all the support with her. She's used to fighting in Denmark quite a bit, and so it's just going to be interesting to see how Luna deals with that I suppose. Luna's, I mean Thorson's had that little bit more world title experience but nothing drastic of course Luna's managed to come back from de defeats in the past but she's also suffered defeats in the process but of course at the moment she's on a 9 fight winning streak so things are all good for her at the moment to go in very well. So Thorson as a fighter, she's an aggressive fighter she controls the tempo quite well she always responds to any punch that she kind of receives she will always give one back or even just one that opens up the guard a little bit she then will respond with one she's quite powerful she's a mid-range type fighter she's got good movement she can outwork you she'll invite you in to then counter you like i said she'll always respond and she's kind of an outside of the ring type fighter she's quite composed to be completely honest even when maybe the positioning isn't exactly where she wants it to be, she seems to be able to deal with it quite well and resets quite well, which is nice. And it's impressive. She's one of the better ranked and better well, world title holders in this division and one of the ones which is definitely who's a lot of fighters are talking about, who's going to be difficult for a lot of fighters to beat. And she's just got something which maybe makes her a little bit different i mean the fact that she's aggressive and has that kind of good powerful mid-range style there's not many fighters in general i suppose in the women's division that have that but I suppose my uh, bar maybe ebony bridges so that would be an amazing fight but of course for the moment can't overlook what we got here but she of course does have all the pressure like i said she is quite used to it so i don't know how much of a problem that will be She's got that low guard at times or quite often. She can jump in a bit, which means that she can miss, be inaccurate, be a bit reckless, open herself up in her own right and not necessarily the best thing to do that. She's, like I said, not overly accurate. She does headhunt a little bit. She sometimes pushes her punches. Like She's not really landing with much intent when she's just pushing her punches, but when she does land on target it's impressive and because she maybe is jumping and she's using her full force so i suppose to an extent it's not the worst thing but it's also not really a great habit either she's not overly fast but she, like i said she kind of uses the jumping as her speed but it's not she's not overly fast as a fighter in general she's not great on the inside she can look maybe not panicky because she is composed but she just doesn't look the best on the inside and just maybe a bit of lax accuracy on the inside. 
she lacks combinations a little bit she doesn't throw loads in combinations wise and she does smother her work at times as well but overall an impressive fighter like i said a tough one that's going to be difficult for any fighter to beat but let's speak about her opponent luna so i mean she's the more experienced fighter she's tough she's relatively aggressive she will sit at a mid-range comfortably and just work her way through the, the gears quite nicely and she will out throw you quite a lot she's quite accurate she's rangy she's technical she's long she'll work off the jab she's got a good shot selection decent combinations good chin as well i've seen her take some quite big shots she's got a good chin there and it's nice to see that type of fighter that can keep the range keep the distance and just work off the jab find everything off that it's the fundamentals of boxing it's nice to see when it's working well and doing impressively and she has in my opinion more of a better shot selection that she utilizes better than what Forzen does she'll go to the body a bit more she'll even just uppercut a bit more she'll try different things a little bit and the fact that she'll throw it more in a combination type format is maybe not she's not overly powerful that's get that out of the way she's not overly powerful but at least the combinations they're accurate they're going to be landing so she could possibly out throw Sorsen in this fight because she is just going to be landing more but Forza might be landing the more impactful shots and so this it's a good stylistic kind of matchup realistically I mean like I said she's not overly powerful she's not got a crazy good defense she's in my opinion I think forzen has got like I said quite good movement and even though maybe she's a bit too aggressive at times she's not got bad movement when she does reset and gets herself back going at mid-range again it's just luna i don't think she has the best of defensive movements her, she can be hit at times she does headhunt a little bit not loads i suppose not as bad as forzen in my opinion she's not great on the back foot either i don't think this is going to be a close range fight in my opinion i think they're both going to stay at mid-range and see who can land the more big shots well that's in Forza's case i think luna her best bet is to stick on the outside and just get a bit more movement going and just keep sticking behind the jab work everything off the jab and maybe frustrate Forza a little bit into jumping into bigger punches or even just to be fair just keeping on going inviting her and opening the the space of Forza and picking them off that wise but I think if Forzen puts Luna on the back foot it could be difficult for Luna as well she might struggle there. Forzen is the favourite for this fight and I think that Forzen will win via unanimous decision I think like I said stylistic wise this will be a good fight I think it'll be a difficult fight for both fighters but I feel like Forzen will find her groove and be able to maybe even if I think if she gets frustrated it's not even a bad thing I think I don't see Luna having, like I said, she didn't have the power to really stop it much and she didn't have the best of defences. So I feel like if Forzen does get frustrated, start jumping in more. Yes, it's not something to advise, but I feel like she's probably going to find success doing that. And she only realistically needs a few punches to land and then she's possibly maybe not knocking her out, but flipping the tide and then winning. And I feel like that's not going to, it's going not going to be too difficult and I feel like it is easier, in my opinion, for Forzen to win than to Luna to win, in my opinion. And so that's why I'm going to go over unanimous decision victory. Like I said, Luna's got a good chin. I don't think she's going to get stopped, but I think it could be mid to late dominance from Thorsen. And then where'd she go on to next? Hughes and Bridges are huge fights. Do I think they'll happen next? Not sure, in my opinion. Sehin is another big fight. She's the believe wbc silver champion so there's a few fights out there i mean the hughes bridges ones will be huge fights but i don't know if they would happen next i'm not too sure i feel like realistically they should because if she she's not and she shouldn't really want step backs from this because this is a huge fight as well so she shouldn't want to step back in opponent but we'll have to wait and see of course bridges hasn't fought in a while and hughes versus bridges might be the one that's more easy to make for matchroom i don't know but either way that is it for today's video hope you did enjoy like if you didn't like this subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching